Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Midwest Market Solutions Insider Commentaries. Today, it is uh, Friday morning. It's July the 7th. I went outside here. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning. You can see behind me the lake is just uh, almost a sheet of glass. Very still. Some boats in the water this morning. And uh, But the lake is going down as far as water levels. It's pretty dry here in northwest Iowa, but not devoid of rain. And it's helped sustain the crops. But there is some rolling of corn in western Iowa that has not received rain. And it's really been a case of uh, some have gotten the rain a lot of rain in the eastern corn belt western corn belt very spotty but the crop is hanging on you get out in the, the dakotas it's a, a bad situation as far as drought goes rains at this time of year not going to help out the spring wheat crop it's, it's way too late could help corn and soybeans out a little bit but uh, certainly going to have some yield reductions i don't think you're going to see anywhere close to last year's yields in corn and soybeans it uh, it's going to be very difficult to equate those record yields that we saw. I think this crop is uh, overall an average type crop and uh, pricing is starting to improve in here. We've seen a higher close in soybeans for eight consecutive days. We've rallied nearly 80 cents to 90 cents off of our lows in the soybean market and we're getting close to where we should be starting to make some moves as far as marketing and pricing opportunities. In the corn market, we haven't seen as dramatic a rally, but we have December corn back above the $4 mark. We're trading around that 404, 405 in the overnight. And it's talking to producers, it's just a few more cents, maybe 10, 15 cents, and they can uh, start to look at locking in $4 corn for new crop, and they will start doing that uh, if we can get that opportunity. So that's kind of the key levels is if we can get around $10 beans, $4 corn, we're going to see some producer movement, and we've seen heavy producer movement of old crop corn, especially uh, in the last several rally attempts that has capped rallies for the uh, corn market. In the livestock trade, cash cattle broke loose yesterday. It was a disappointment to the trade as we saw only one to two dollar losses, but the futures did rally on some hedge lifting. Futures could try and rally again this morning, maybe test some resistance areas, but I uh, don't see any fundamental reason why we will turn the trend back higher. So if you look to sell into this rally, uh, put your stops in above uh, old highs that would turn the trend back to an uptrending market because I don't see that in the cards uh, for the cattle market. Have a great day. Uh, if you haven't signed up for our trade newsletter yet, please do so. Uh, we've got a lot of great trades in place, We're recommending some new ones. So good luck, good trading today. This has been Brian Hoops for Midwest Markets. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great weekend.